In here you're going to see some wheel chocks for safety. You want to block the vehicle when you're sitting and you're parked as an added safety. One of these be on the front and rear of uh, one of the drive wheels. And next we can go ahead and uh, do, the, uh, do the lift. We'll demonstrate on how we can uh, work the uh, wheelchair lift. Now I'm going to have to go inside. Uh, so the requirements you have to satisfy to use the lift is that the transmission has to be in park. The ignition key has to either be on or in the accessory position. The wheelchair door in the back here has to be open. And the on-off switch up here, a little toggle switch on the top of the controller has to be on. I'm going to go inside now and turn the ignition key on. Okay, you know that you've satisfied the requirements for the lift to be able to work when you see the lift controller light up. We have a light here now on the buttons. And we have a green light. You can see it there right where my finger is. There's a green light on top of the pump control, the pump assembly, meaning we're ready to do the lift. Press and hold the down button. Pressing and holding the down button. Okay, what I'm going to do now, while it's still sitting up here high enough where it's easy to get at, I'm going to raise the side panels. Got a couple locking pins here. There's a locking pin here in the front. Another locking pin back here in the rear. And the same thing for the other side. Locking pin in this side. And a locking pin on this side. And the lift's now in a position for the wheelchair and wheelchair person to come on board. It's recommended that you have the handles come of the wheelchair come on first, so that when you raise the lift and get it up to floor level, that the person inside can grab a hold of the wheelchair lift handles and bring the person backwards onto the vehicle. When you're ready, got the wheelchair on, wheelchair brakes are on. It's about 800, 850 pound capacity. If uh, an aide or a helper would like to ride up with the wheelchair person, if they're a little intimidated, you could do so. Now we're going to press and hold the up. Floor level, be a matter of unlocking the wheelchair brakes and taking the person on board. When they're ready to leave, we're just going to do the reverse. Unload the lift. up to lower our side panels. Pull our locking pins. I want to get this side first. One side's a little bigger than the other. Before you lower the side, you want to get our stop plate lowered. Bring this side down and the second side down. Any 
time the lift is partially operated as it is now, we have an unsafe condition. Somebody would be near the doorway here. It's going to, if they step on this pad right here, this black pad, somebody would stand on that right now. I'm going to, I just simulated that by pushing down on it with my hand. You see a red strobe light up there flashing, and the lift is inoperable. Once they get off the pad, then the lift will continue to work. Right now I'm going to press the stow, press and hold stow. Also you'll notice while the lift is working we have an additional light that comes on right behind the ladder there. Another light comes on to light up the area back here where you're working if it's in the evening or after dark. There's a black bag called the info case. It contains user manuals, operator manuals, maintenance manuals, a second set of keys. Included in that info case is documentation on the uh, lift. And one of the things it's going to tell you in there is if the lift mechanism has a failure. It may never happen to you, but if it does, follow the, that page in the manual and it tells you how you can come over here to the controller. using this handle and going over to the other side of the vehicle reading the label here, safety label it says turn to lock and unlock, you can turn this handle pull it and it will release the lift from the lift drive mechanism you can then operate the lift by hand and we'll go back around to the other side. The lift would now be floating free. You can then use the jack handle here to bump it, raise the lift like a, like a big bumper jack. And then you can also go to the valve here in there using these little grooves in the end of the handle, turn that valve, slowly release that valve. That will release the pressure and allow the lift to go down. So you can raise it with the pump action, lower it by releasing the hydraulic valves. And follow along in step by step in the manual for an emergency operation of the lift until you get it in for repair.